Welcome everybody to the Joe Wins Project TV channel right here on YouTube. Uh, so where does this all start, this little story here? Uh, we all know by now that guitar and rap have were a great combination back then when it first came around. Uh, the first one that I looked up yesterday was uh, Run DMC Rockbox. That was in 1984. And of course, also in 84, you had... Eddie Van Halen had done the uh, the guitar playing for Beat It for Michael Jackson. So in 1984, I was 14, and you would hear Beat It all the time, be outside shooting basketball, and, you know, and have their jam box out there, you know, whatever you want to call it, and that was always on the radio. And uh, but I didn't know. I mean, I, I heard of Eddie Van Halen. I didn't. I wasn't in the Van Halen at the time. That wouldn't be for another two years. So fast forward one more year, 85, and uh, my buddy that lived down the street in the neighborhood there, he had bought this new album. And he called me up. He says, Joe, man, you got to get down here and check out this new album I got at the store. I said, all right, cool, man. So I went down there, and it was an album by a group called UTFO. And I asked him, I said, who is, who is that? He said, "They're these. It's this, this new group, man, this new rap group. And I was really into that stuff, the old, old school rap, you know, uh, Fly Girl, was that the Boogie Boys, you know, Houdini, uh, just a number of, of different groups. I was into that stuff, along with other music, too. And so uh, he put the the record on, on the turntable, and, the, and their, of course, their big hit played, it was Roxanne, Roxanne. A fabulous song just uh, just i was like that is incredible <laughs> you know in the with the scratching and all that i'd heard scratching with herbie hancock on on rocket but you could really tell it on this album with utfo they really brought it to the to the forefront mix master ice and um so if you're not familiar with utfo man google them you know uh check out that first album their self-titled debut album it was i, I loved it very much but he, you know, like I said, I didn't get my first guitar until 86. Pardon me. And uh, so I was just starting to get the idea of like, I wonder if this whole guitar thing, if it'd be a cool thing to do, you know. Uh, but this one song in particular from UTFO really grabbed my attention. And this is in 85. So you have to remember the time frame of this of this song. The time era, brother. Um, so the guitar playing here, there's a short solo in the middle of the song that uh, I was like, holy crap, what is that guy doing? You know. Uh, so let, let me let you hear a clip of that real quick. It's And I lo always love the way the drum sounds and all that stuff were on this album. This is Lisa Lips, by the way. Yeah, here comes the guitar solo. Check this out. Now that was, when I heard that, I thought, you know, again, I didn't, you know, I had heard of Van Halen and all that stuff, but I just, I didn't have any knowledge about you know, finger tapping or two handed tapping, whatever people want to call it. I just knew that sounded kick ass, you know, and, and the uh the bass line and all that stuff. I thought that was really cool. Um and that's just the, the solo in the middle of the song, the real short guitar blast right there. Now on the outro of the song there's a lot more guitar going on and it's that's even more impressive, you know. It was to me. Uh so, let's listen to it one more time. Then I'm going. What I did is I took uh, those couple of uh, measures of the drums there, and kind of just patched them together. And <coughs> excuse me. And I'm going to try to play that little solo piece.
All right, that's that's it. Oh, and and by the way, you know that I had forgotten all about this song. I mean, not that I, you know, not I don't mean that in a negative way. Just you know, you hear songs during your lifetime, and and then you come back around to them at a certain point in time. And and uh, I was uh, cruising down the road the other night, and and uh, I actually came upon a couple of interviews with uh, one of the one of the rappers of UTFO, his name was uh, Kango. Um, watching a couple old interviews with him, and I said, man, there's Kango, you know? I said, UTFO. I thought that was cool. And uh, his Instagram handle popped up on the screen on that interview. So I said, well, I would love to to know who played guitar on this song. Is it is it Was it a session musician, or was it just a friend? Or So I found him on Instagram, and... Uh, followed him and I sent him a private message and lo and behold, he was kind enough to take the time to answer me, you know, and I thought that was really <laughs> blew my mind. And I was like, Whoa. And, uh, and I asked him, I said, Hey, I told him who I was, you know, and just to what I could in that brief message. And I said, uh, who played guitar on that track? Is there any way you could tell me that? Cause I would love to do a video about the guitar playing or that little solo piece on YouTube. And I just and yeah, I sent the message to him, and I kind of just I said, "Nah, he ain't gonna answer, man." You know, and you know, not you know, about an hour or so later, maybe two hours later, he he responded, and he said, "That was a great question." He goes, "I believe it was one of the members of Full Force that played guitar in that song." Now, Full Force, I believe, was like uh, uh kind of did some backup singing for UTFO on that first album and stuff like that. And, but they have their own group as well. They have their own thing going on. I think they do a lot of songwriting and producing and all that. Uh, so he told me, he said, I believe it was one of the members of, of full force that played guitar. And I was like, man, so when you go back and listen to that piece, this is in 1985. So that guitar playing was off the chain, especially for that era. Because like I said, people were just starting to do the two hand tapping thing because Eddie, had really popularized that, you know, hugely, which he's one of my big time guitar heroes anyway. So, but it wouldn't come full circle till when I got older and started to learn how to play. And then here we are now. And I hear this song and I was like, I've always wanted to try to learn how to play that. So, uh, here we go. I'm going to try it. Now, I don't know it. I don't know if it's going to be note for note. Perfect. <laughs> because I'm not one of those guys that, you know, can uh, do it note for note on a lot of stuff. I just kind of do the best I can, but uh, I've always loved that part of that song. You know, the whole so the whole song is great. The whole album is fantastic. And um, let's give this a shot. Uh, I love the way the beginning starts because it sounds like a like a Ferrari or something speeding up and driving past you real quick. You know, that's I was like that, and I didn't know what a what a whammy bar was back then. You know. <laughs> I didn't know what that stuff was. You know, I didn't know anything. I didn't have a guitar for another year. And then it would take many years after that to even learn how to play something that was, you know, understandable. <laughs> so let's try this and hopefully this, this will come, come through. I hope, I hope I try to do it justice anyway. Here we go. Damn. So there we go. That's uh, the solo that I love from UTFO uh, from a song called Lisa Lips. That is a fantastic song. I love that. That just, when I first heard that, like I said, it was like, whoa. <laughs> uh, I know that's probably not spot on note for note, but uh, <laughs> it still gets me jazzed up today when I hear that. So that's, that's the story of. UTFO, how I came into uh, discovering their uh, first album and this song. And there's other great songs as well on that whole first album, man. Check it out if you haven't checked it out. Uh, <clears throat> amazing stuff. 
really good stuff. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. My name is Joe. This is the Joe Watch Project TV channel right here on YouTube. Until next time, my friends, keep rocking. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.